So this is an update on the gelatin grow experiment. We experiment to learn from mistakes and to see what we can improve. And I made a mistake on the uh, first iteration of this experiment. I did not sterilize my equipment. And as you can see, I have a Petri dish. Um, it's growing all kinds of interesting things in the uh, gelatin and the um, container. Um, so, what I've learned from this experiment is I need to sterilize. Just like when you're doing beer making, you need to sterilize thoroughly. So, I'm going to go ahead and redo this experiment and try it with everything sterilized as we're going along. And let's get on with that. Alright, so I'm going to sterilize this acrylic container with a hot water and bleach solution. There's about a gallon of water in here and I'm going to mix a half a teaspoon of bleach in here, Clorox bleach, and I'm going to just let this stuff sit there and soak in there for a couple minutes. And then I'm also going to do a real quick dip on some green beans that I'm going to try and grow in this video. The reason I'm switching to green beans is they don't have a very long period before they start growing. The basil takes about 12 days, so letting all that um, lovely growing media sit there for 12 days is a nice petri dish and everything grew in it. So we're going to try the green beans this time and hopefully the experiment works this time. We'll find out. And if not, we'll find out what else we have to change on the next iteration of it. So I just took the container out. It had been soaking in the bleach solution for about 10 minutes and now I'm just going to let it drip dry. Um, and then I'm going to wipe it down a little bit. And then the um, gelatin solution is finalizing over here. And I'm about ready to put it in here after I dry this out. So I just put the hot gelatin solution into the container and then I rubber banded the lids on. And I'm going to go throw it in the refrigerator. And hopefully that will minimize any um, airborne contaminants from getting into this solution. So. I'm going to let this set up in the refrigerator for about an hour, hour and a half. And then we're going to dunk the green beans that have been soaking in water for a couple hours in that bleach solution just for a couple seconds. And then we're going to insert them into the gelatin and then try and time lapse it again. Okay, so I just took this out of the fridge. It's set pretty decently. Um, I'm going to go ahead and quickly uh, show you I sterilized the tweezers that I'm going to actually use to insert the beans into the gel gelatin and I'll go ahead and pull the lid off real quick and then grab the tweezers out of there and I'm going to grab the beans give them a real quick dunk Oop. into the uh, sterilized water. That shouldn't affect the bean. And then I'm going to dunk it into the gelatin. Oh, it's a lot harder to push these in than the uh, little um, oregano seeds. Oh, I forgot to sterilize that one. Darn it. Anyways, so there they are. Quickly get this lid back on. This area over here where I had the time lapse set up, and I have it marked on the table exactly where I need it to be for focus. And I'm going to start time lapsing this again. So we'll turn the little camera on. Anyways, thanks for watching. Like the video if you liked it. Um, subscribe if you haven't. And we'll see how this experiment number two turns out. And See you on the next video.